How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Helena the Huntress Expert Mode Let's Play. So last episode was a big one. We got a lot done. I fought what felt like 50 um, hallowed mimics, but it was more like 6 or 7. And we got the nice Illuminant hook, but more importantly, we got the amazing Daedalus Stormbow. And now we can rain arrows supreme down on our, on our enemies, which is really, really cool. We also made a really highly efficient uh, ocean farm and got tons of pirate maps. And just before we finished yesterday, we were about to fight some pirates, which we'll be doing pretty much straight away this episode. Uh, on top of that, we also upgraded to a cobalt pick and we got our little spider friend. And he's very useful for um, hard mode because he's pretty strong. Alright, so we'll be fighting the Destroyer this episode, and hopefully winning. Uh, we also need to get either the Shadow Flame Bow or the Marrow, uh, which will help just with regular mobs, um, you know, when we can't sort of shoot normal mobs with the Daedalus if we're underground, stuff like that. And uh, we'll be fighting some pirates, so we've got lots to do, guys. Let's get started. So, we'll get the Quiver. I think that it'll... it shouldn't take too long. But, uh, let's start with some pirates. Oh my god! So, we've got our safety box. Uh, I can probably use the Stormbow a bit for this one, you know. Uh, which will be our first proper use of it. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Uh, I need to... I need to hammer these platforms as well, because I think to hang banners off it, they need to be... Yeah, they need to be that way. But that's okay, I'll do that another time. I might move my Stormbow over so I can quickly swap between them during the battle. And the pirates should be here any moment. Ready for battle. Oh, here they come. Actually, the Stormbow will help against the... Oh, my God. Ah, pirates. Don't you shoot me. No, I don't appreciate that. Oh, my God. The Stormbow was amazing for this. Ow! <laughs> no! Oh. Do you see why I made a safety box, guys? <laughs> oh. Oh, I could tell there was going to be pain. Oh, man. Man. I've just got to keep moving. <laughs> just got to keep moving. Keep dodging. Oh, pirates. Why are you so crazy? Oh, wow. <laughs> ah, look at all the projectiles. <laughs> crazy pirates. Cut it out. <laughs> oh, man. You just can't sit still. So, our spider, which I haven't actually given a nickname yet. I've just called it Spider. Um, it was Impy, that was Slimy. Uh, yeah, need them for the spider. Oh, anyway, so it's dealing with the melee ones down below, and then the Stormbow is dealing with the other ones, which is pretty nice. I like that. Oh, okay, let's get some bees in on the action. Oh, yeah, nice bees. Uh, Slimy, if you didn't have the spider stuff, even Slimy would be somewhat useful for this. Ow, ow. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Actually, in fact, if you really wanted to cheese this, you could literally just sit in the box and uh, let your spider pretty much take them all out. Which, I am just going to let myself regenerate a bit uh, because my potion is just, just up now, so that's cool. Guys, that was brutal indeed. I mean, we could do a fair bit of damage to the pirates, but unfortunately, with our armor at the moment, we could only survive about three, maybe four hits. And when there's that many pirates on screen, yeah, we, we might have tackled it just a little bit too early. But that's okay, we did get two of their banners, and I got some sweet uh, pirate furniture, which I've put up here in a chest, I think I called it Pirate Booty. 
So, you know, we got a bunch of stuff. We got one of the cool cutlasses. Great sword, by the way, especially if you're doing a sword playthrough. And, uh, yeah, so we'll come back to them at a later date. Now, I did promise a destroyer battle, and that means we need to get some power powering up. We need some, uh, holy arrows. We need to get the, uh, the mechanical worm. And even some wings would be nice. So do you know what I think we need? Because there's a few random items we got to collect, we need a power-up montage. Are you ready, Spidey? Are you ready, puppy? Let's do this. Magic Quiver! Yeah! Oh, oh, the time has come. Wow, and I have been grinding for a little while, but we finally got it, and it is beautiful. So 10% damage, and greatly increases arrows. Whoa, you can see the velocity. Wow! Oh, guys, look how much faster it is. Oh, no way. Gee, that is going to increase our damage output. I know it only says 10%, but the speed that the arrows are flying, especially with the uh, Daedalus Stormbow, that's just going to be amazing. Oh, no way. And as you can see, I've been fighting a few archers, but, um, you know, we had so many antlion mandibles, I could make lots of battle potions, which was uh, pretty cool. And as you can see from our banners, I've been putting them up as we're fighting uh, because may as well, I suppose, it uh, increases the speed we can uh, go through the mobs. So, yeah. Wow, it even makes the Hellwing bow uh, pretty good. I like this. Oh, look at the, look at the Daedal Daedalus Stormbow. That's amazing. Anyway, we're upgraded now, so it's time. So we've got enough Souls of Night. Uh, we've got, we've got the magic quiver, we just need to make a simple modification to our arena, and we can fight, fight the destroyer. Let's go. Okay, we've got a bit of upgrading to do, and I didn't, uh, purposely upgrade the Daedalus Stormbow, uh, because we didn't need it before, but we also have the magic quiver to reforge too. And if you can't tell by my cash, uh, yeah, we've been fighting lots of mobs. And that cash racks up pretty quickly in expert mode. Oh, menacing. Oh, I think, um, I know you might think I'm crazy, but uh, defensive modifiers are better. So let's take warding on that. I'm actually intrigued. I don't think we're going to be using the hive pack. Uh, so, yeah, maybe the shark tooth. And cloud in a bottle. We still don't have wings, but we probably will be okay, to be honest, um, without wings in this destroyer fight. Uh, menacing. I'm trying to get an armored. Uh, there we go. That'll that'll do. Beautiful. And oops, I need to reforge the stormbow too. Ah, uh, yeah, we might be okay without wings. So we'll we'll, we'll just see. I'll make the arena. And we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. Oh, man. So, hasty. Speed and velocity. A bit less damage, though. 
Hmm, nine, seven, lethargic, intimidating. Hmm, we want something amazing. There you go. That's what we're after. Beautiful. It's not unreal, but it's pretty good. Oh, guys, Happy's been forgetful. I just went to make the um, uh, the summoning token for the, I mean, the, the mechanical worm. And I just realized you need an Orichalcum Anvil to make it with. So, we need to quickly go mine some Orichalcum. Uh, so let's make a Spelunka Potion. And because we're only purely getting enough for the Anvil, we'll just do this nice and quickly. And then, actually by the time we get back, we can probably throw up a quick arena. Um, which is literally going to be a platform in the sky. Might even put a torch on it. And then we can fight the destroyer. I can't wait. Okay, it's time to craft all the equipment for the destroyer battle. We finally got everything, guys, and it feels good. Uh, so we have all the components for the holy arrows. We have the orichalcum that we need to make the anvil with, which is beautiful. We have more than enough. And then all we need to do is make our quick arena. And I reckon we're going to make it just in time for night time. So that's actually really nice. So the first thing we need to do is make the bars. And then the anvil only needed 12 bars, but hey, I found two big patches of orichalcum, so what are you going to do? So let's put that down, and that unlocks the crafting recipe for the holy arrows, which is really nice. Um, so, unicorns are a little bit rare, but I hung around till I got 14 horns, uh, because I thought it would be sad if we ran out of arrows during the fight, especially with how fast the uh, Daedalus Stormbo fires. Oh guys, look at that! That's amazing! We are going to destroy the destroyer. Oh, so good. Okay, so next thing. Uh, we're not going to need to do anything too fancy, but let's just make our way to our arena. Which, it's fine. It's a nice little arena. We just need to add some height uh, so we can dodge its body during the early stages. So all I'm going to do is literally just platform up into the air and yeah, sort of, I don't know, maybe we wanted a fair way up um, because at the start the probes are going to be the most dangerous thing and the body, you know, as long as we can stay pretty high up we should be fine. So here we go, we're getting a nice platform and what I'll probably do is have like a little door, like a safety box in the middle. I, I won't do the whole actuator thing again, I don't think that's necessary um, because it's just for one fight, so. Alright, so we got that. Now what will... No. <laughs> I pushed R like you do in Starbound again. Oh man, the two worlds, they're colliding. Alright, so what we need now is we need an entryway, so let's just leave two blocks open there. And then what we're going to do is actually make the nice little safety box that we can fight the probes in if they start to get into too big a numbers. Alright, cool. Then we just need to open up the sides and put that there. And a platform there. Oh guys, look at this just as the night time is starting to fall. Perfect. Uh, it's not symmetrical, let's fix that. Because I, I know you guys all like a bit of symmetry. And I think I do too, deep down. Yay. Alright, Piggy. You're up, mate. <laughs> Alright, so campfires. Heart Lantern and Honey. Let's, we might as well put a Honey uh, little buff in here too. Alright, we've got some campfires, which are not symmetrical. Because it's wild and untamed nature, it shouldn't be. Uh, Alright. And all we need to do is just put... No. <laughs> Put that there and pour a bit of honey in it. I think one will be fine. Lovely. And 450 blue slimes. We are rocking it. Alright, let's put some lights in. Very nice. And now we just need to get rid of all these. 
Oh, and I still need to make the worm token, the mechanical worm. Wow. Oh, the timing, guys. It's so perfect. I love it. Okay. Platforms are done. Now, I can't put torches on the hammered platform, so I might just put some regular torches around here too, just so it's not too dark. Um, I want you guys to be able to see during the fight and not be... And not me going, oh my god, my new torches, I can't see. <laughs> uh, because that would be sad. <laughs> Alright. Torch there. Run through the safety box. Okay. We're good. So I should just be able to fly up and grapple. Yep. Beautiful. Now, I know we don't have wings. I think we'll be okay. I know that could be famous last words, but hey, what are you going to do? Alright. So let's make the worm. Where are you, worm? You make it at the anvil. There we go, one mechanical worm coming right up. And let's make sure all that's in our arrow queue is holy arrows. All right, I'll clear my inventory and we'll wait for the night to fall and it's destroyer time. Okay guys, the night time is here, which means it is time to summon the destroyer and try out our new Daedalus Stormbow, which I think is going to be pretty good. Three, two, one. Let's do this. Oh, buffs are on. Whoa, look at that. That's amazing. Wow, I love it. Whoa, no you don't. <laughs> oh man, nice dodge. <laughs> Oh, probes, probes! Ah, look at all the probes! Oh my god! There's probes everywhere! <laughs> oh man. Uh, so, one thing I added uh, to my potions was a Titan potion. Uh, because, like with the Wall of Flesh, uh, the probes can get knocked about really easily. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, Destroyer's just doing its thing down there. I'm just taking it easy for the start of the fight because as you can see it's projectile city and we don't want to die when uh yeah just because there's probes everywhere alright okay it could be coming high soon although I actually might be high enough where it can't get us wow I think we've almost killed it already okay I'm going down for a look why am I going down for a look are you crazy happy are you crazy what are you doing what are you doing run <laughs> Why did I come up for a look? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> to the safety box! Oh my god. I am insane. Oh, let's go for a look and almost die. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. The Stormbow is just OP against the Destroyer. Wow. You just, you just, it doesn't even stand a chance. Wow. So good. Ah, oh, okay, that was fun. That was really, really fun. And we got treasure! And I made way too many arrows. I thought, I thought because it shoots so fast, like, I didn't think, I know one arrow gives you, like, four, but I thought, you know, you're shooting so fast, I thought we'd run out of arrows. But anyway, oh well. Alright, so, it's time for treasure, guys. It's a very exciting time. Three, two, one, boom! <gasps> Souls of Might, Hallowed Bars, beautiful. And we're in the running for dev sets now too. And a lot of you have said dev sets, you think it'll look pretty cool on Helena, and I agree. <gasps> Golden Bunny? Where's my, um... Oh no! Where's my bug net? Ah! <laughs> oh my god. I probably sold it. Let's just buy a new one quickly. Quick, we need to catch! It's the new... It's not the Squirrel King, it's the Bunny King. Is it still there? Bunny! <laughs> yes, we have a new pet. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks as always for watching another episode of Helena the Huntress. Oh man, that Daedal Daedalus Stormbow and Holy Arrows combo is 
absolutely insane. And look, I guess I have to ask you now, is it okay to use it against the other mech bosses? Because I feel like it's going to absolutely destroy them. But hey, I mean, I normally underpower myself in my playthrough, so do you want to see me for once just absolutely ripping bosses to shreds? I mean, yeah, it would be kind of fun. And it's actually, in part, it's made me want to do a normal playthrough just to see how badly we can actually really destroy a lot of things. But anyway, let me know in the comments. Alright, it's time for some shoutouts as always. And, oh my gosh, I just remembered it. So it's like under, it's like five days in Australia till Christmas. I'm so excited. It's going to be awesome. All right, our first one is from Hero Brian. And they've asked me to say in a rap boulder voice. Rap boulder. Um, <laughs> I'm so not, I can't do rap. They've asked me to say, make the ground shake. <laughs> that was terrible. But the main thing is, guys, I gave it a go. You know, in life, you got to give things a try. <laughs> Thanks, Hero Brian. Our next one is from Huggybo. Huggybo? Huggybo. And they've asked me to say in a Jaina voice. Oh, Jaina's my old mage, if you don't know. They've asked me to say, Wolfgang will never replace the almighty Jaina! Uh, <laughs> and then there's like, in the comments, I like it. Some people are like Team Jaina and some people are Team Wolfgang. It's very funny. Uh, uh, next one is, is from Ferdonculus. And they've asked me to say in an evil cobalt voice. Evil cobalt? Wow, okay. So it's like all grubbly. They've asked me to say, I have crossed you, Elena! <laughs> uh, evil cobalt, huh? I like it. Our next one is from Fawaz, Abriel Safa. And they've asked me to say in a Darth Vader voice. Ooh, Darth Vader. I say, so, Luke. <laughs> I always laugh at it. Join the cookie side. <laughs> yeah, cookie side's awesome. Alright, our last one is from Gangster Bean. It lasts me soon an evil Santa voice. Whoa, we're getting a few evil Santas. Ask me to sue. Ho, ho, ho. You're getting cold cookies for Christmas. <laughs> oh, and you can even get coal in the presents in Terraria, which I find kind of amusing. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Sorry for the late upload today my power went out and i couldn't finish the episode off um but if you're watching now uh star starbound episode will also be up in about an hour so stay tuned for that thanks for your continued support guys we're gonna hit 100,000 subscribers in the new year by the looks of it which is super exciting i'm so pumped to share this journey with you thanks for watching leave a like if you've enjoyed it comments for the day is about the daedalus stormbow and the mech bosses and if you haven't subscribed, guys, click the little HD icon in the bottom right corner and you'll get our latest videos straight to your sub box. How amazing is that? <laughs> Alright, guys, until next time, you all stay happy and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day signing out. See ya. Alright, now let's find out where this lava is. Mr. Lover! <gasps> oh goodness! Okay, we've got a heal off. Nice. Oh, he's about to go in his last form. Oh, what are we- No! <laughs>